What it is, what it do, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. As you see by the title, you already know what we're gonna be doing today. Today we're gonna be doing like a video based on when I used to work at a strip club. So this video is kind of like for dancers and bada girls, more so the bada girls, but I know some dancers can pick up from this. And I'm gonna be well eating some Wawa. I have somewhere to go, but I am hungry and I figure let me just park, eat, and chat with you guys real quick while I do this video. On my phone, I do have a list of things I want to talk about in this video, including um, maybe some hacks, just like all around thing. I might miss some things in this video, which I can do a part two. I might miss some things in this video, which I can do a part two, but as of right now, I do have a good list of things that I can definitely discuss in this video. It's just my experience. This is just like, you know, what I know of what some people use in a club. I'm not trying to say you need all these things. Some people don't need all these things. I just tend to need a lot of these things when I, at least when I was like working at the club. It's been over a year since I work at the club and i just figured let me just you know some girls still ask me questions about the club as if i still work there some people still ask me questions about when i used to work at the ship club when i was working at dang this is just more so a video just based of all night i guess you could say all night club or you could say nightlife employees in general from hookah girls to bottle girls to dancers etc you want to say i might not do fit everything into just this one video but i'm definitely going to make a part two if you guys request it because i know you guys still ask me a lot of questions about nightlife which i'm happy to answer because i never had the, really the time of day to film another video but ever since i got a new charger for my camera because i lost the first one and i got new equipment i'm just like i need to film again i'm just gonna probably just start at the top list and go down if i have anything that comes in mind while going through the list i'll just add in this video if not i can make part two if you guys want me to but first on the list is pantyhose now pantyhose you don't have to wear pantyhose it just depends on i guess you say your preference when it comes to especially when it comes to bottle girl outfits they do tend to show a lot a lot depending on what outfit you do get at least at the club that I worked at, you always know what you wear, especially since they give you choices, options, what you want to wear. So for example, like if the color scheme for a Friday is gold and white, you can pick various options from uh, body suits to um, just a little bit of everything, two pieces, everything. Pantyhose are really, really good though, especially when you want to show a lot of skin, but still want to be covered because clubs are dirty, money is dirty, just everything in the club is just dirty, and you have to think that way because people out here, they really, it, it, it be dirty. So pantyhose does create a barrier between, you know, what the club got going on and your skin. And I've seen some people order the pantyhose that Huda Girls do wear. I mean, Sheen has a lot of pantyhose, really, really cheap, but... I used to got I used to get mines from Sheen. I never got mines from Hooters from like the Hooter Girls website they had. I seen girls purchase the Hooter Girls pantyhose, but I got mine from Sheen. It's just cheaper anyway. Second, I have on the list is gum. For some cases, if you do have time, you can even bring a travel size toothbrush, toothpaste, and even like a mouthwash container. Um, you can literally brush your teeth in the bathroom. Nobody really is gonna judge, judge you. If you don't want to do it in the sink, then of course you can just bring a water a water bottle and do it in the bathroom store. Not a lot of people are gonna really be jug, judging you, especially when it begin of your shift. Like no one's barely there. I know there were times that I collected at five, not a single soul walked in there until eight o'clock. Drink or you have food before your shift or before anybody really gets there you do have time to brush your teeth for example if you don't want to brush your teeth you know just say that you don't have the time of day doing your shift you know gum is a good option as well gum is a good option as well especially since doing your shift you're gonna be in people's faces taking down their orders and just talking to people and sometimes it's so loud in the club you really have to get close and personal um, next on the list I have is perfume. Now with these perfumes, you can go to Bath & Body Works. We don't want to get the expensive kind. There are some good smell and scents at Bath & Body Works. My favorite is Into the Night, especially the lotion form. The lotion form plus with the perfume or body spray, really, really good combination. It smells lovely. If you don't want to buy the perfume, you just want to stick to the lotion. The lotion itself, I wear it in the beginning of my shift and it will last me almost all my shift. Like. I'll be there for six hours and I still can smell on me. Other people still smell on me. The one thing I do will say though, sometimes I know some clubs don't have lockers for um, 
bottle girls but they will for the dancers i do suggest having a fanny pack I don't know if I, you guys saw my last video about the fanny pack. I can do an updated one. I can do an updated video as well. But with a fanny pack, they do come in a lot of different sizes, compartments. I know my favorite one was the one I got from Fashion Nova. That was like three dollars. That thing was so big. I could carry like a lot of things in that. And with that fanny pack, I could carry my perfume, my lotion, like everything on this list i can carry in that fanny pack and i have an extra fanny pack for you know strictly taking orders and everything do be aware that with some clubs not having lockers people can still and i have seen it people will steal your perfume just saying so just be aware of that so i do suggest something like a fanny pack or just a very very small um spray that smells good just so you can have around and it doesn't take care too much of your fanny pack if you don't want to carry multiple fanny packs so unless is comfortable slides or crocs at the end of your shift you're sometimes not going to wear or want to be wearing the shoes that you wear all night again too if you don't want to carry a whole bunch of things with you and say if you don't have a locker you don't want to go back to your car with being a bottle girl or a hookah girl i do suggest you just wear comfortable shoes all throughout your shift they don't have to be the cutest shoe i want to get you throughout your shift there is a lot of comfortable shoes that are cute and they will get you through your night without a problem next is lip gloss chapstick if you have your lip combinations you know to touch up your lips bring it with you me per se if i'm not wearing a full face and i don't want to do a full lip combination have it all in my fanny pack i will just stick to my lip gloss it's just so much easier next we have is baby wipes and clorox wipes at first i did bring baby wipes as time progressed i learned that clorox wipes are the way to go just the simple fact like okay baby wipes you can use of course you use to like you know if you want to freshen up in the bathroom down there but clorox wipes when it comes to like sticky hands because you're going to be like cleaning up drinks people's drinks or if you touch something sticky clorox wipes i feel as though clean your hands way better than the baby wipes of course you want to bring hand sanitizer as well um money is dirty remember everything in the club is just dirty if you don't want to carry the whole package of clear wipes or baby wipes you can use a sandwich bag just for a smaller space in your fanny pack or wherever you want to carry your stuff at next i have is either like red bulls to help you throughout the night because if you're clocking in at five sometimes you won't leave until five in the morning depending on what club you do work at gatorade to stay hydrated i know some people do like the Gatorade. I always drink my water. I feel like Gatorade really didn't do nothing for me. I always feel as though I was just dehydrated through my shift. So water did help me a lot. Next we have is outfit change. Now this is for more so I want to say the dancers because as a bottle girl and hookah girl, I didn't have time to change out my outfits. I didn't have like a downtime to change out my outfits. So there was never really a slow day. Like once I clocked in. Of course, in the beginning, like, you know, around 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, people start coming in. But once people start coming in, you're going to be working your, you're going to be really working until the end of the shift. But if you are a dancer and you do have some downtime, outfit change for many reasons. If you're a dancer, then it's obvious reasons you're not going to be, you don't want to be in the same sweaty outfit all night. As in for hookah girls and bada girls, I never had chance to even change out of an outfit. If I do... It would be the time frame of me going to the bathroom, but nine out of ten times I didn't have that opportunity to even go to the bathroom if I really needed to until like later on when all my tables were settled. But even then, like I wouldn't even have a really chance to even change out a full outfit into a new outfit. But definitely for the dancers, I know you guys don't want to be dancing the same outfit all night, and then you know people have smells and bo, so. You don't want to be in the same outfit all night. Especially if the outfit is not made out of cotton. You don't want to be in an outfit all night. Next, if you work at a new club, clubs do tend to require you to have a rag or a towel to bring with you for obvious reasons. Like, you know, you giving out lap dance to people, to, especially the men. The men can get a little nasty. The men can get a little nasty and also too. And it's, it's not you just want a rag or a towel for those type of reasons next on this is a small light so i know there is lights that you can just attach to your phone or i like to use this little light that i have right here some people do tend to ask if you do want to take pictures with them and i just feel like better lighting would be better than just a club lighting that they have because in a club it's really really dark i just rather these type of lights than the flash on the phone especially if 
your makeup can have a chance of having a flashback. I just rather these type of lights that you can attach to either your phone or just have a handheld. It's just it's just a better option. Next we have is money markers for fake bills. Sometimes, especially when it fits really dark in the club, you can't really see the bill if it's fake or not. It's just really, really easy just to tell if a bill is fake or not, especially if the clubs are really dark and you really, really can't see. Just one marker swipe you can't really just say it all. Next we have is, um, this is actually gonna be a money hack. So this last one is gonna be a money hack and then I'm just gonna end this video here and then if you guys want a part two, I can give you a part two. This hack you can actually gain some money, like I'm gonna put you on game real quick. If a customer asks you if, hey, like can I have a hundred one dollar bills and if you have 90 bills like like 91 dollar bills especially if they're drunk because some people don't really count them especially if they're drunk they don't count that money at all instead of giving them the whole hundred you can just give them 90 and you just gain ten dollars just a money you know just a little money hack but that does bring the end to this video i didn't really eat my food i still have two pieces left so i'm gonna hurry up and eat this and then get back to where i need to go but other than that this is the end of this video my name is messiah and if you do like this video like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>